Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. My name's Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today's video is all about the guys. That's right, I've got you covered. Beard wash, beard oil, beard balm. I've got it all for you and we're all gonna do that in one quick video. Quick. <laughs> it's been about four years since I've carried any of these products and to be honest they didn't really sell for me very well but I really like making them. I like having them and I want to try it again. I really feel like my business is way different than it was four years ago and I think it's time to bring them back and see what I can do, especially before Father's Day. First on the list tonight is co-wash. Have you ever heard of a co-wash before? I co-wash my hair. When I co-wash my hair, I use conditioner only and use it as a shampoo. So in place of shampoo, I will put conditioner and wash my hair with that. This isn't really the same thing, but it's the same thought or mentality as my co-washing my hair because there is surfactants in this co-wash for your beard, but it is a very gentle uh, wash for your beard. It's not going to strip and it may not be something that you can use forever without doing a more thorough deep cleanse. This is more for your more frequent washes to keep everything tame and conditioned and hydrated. This recipe came from Making Cosmetics and I will try to link that down below. It's fairly close, but I did, I did swap some ingredients to help it along and do what I wanted to do with it. My testers have really enjoyed using this, so I think it's time to bring it to market. While the co-wash is heating up, because there is a heated oil and water phase, I'm gonna to try to go ahead and get some of the other products ready to go so that I can get all of this done in one night, one video. On my little Wish me luck. heat plate here, I have my water and aloe vera juice heating up. And in my beaker here, it's a 900 ml beaker. I'm hoping all this water fits in here. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I have my satiro alcohol first. This is a, an emulsion stabilizer. It's an emollient, so that's nice. It adds body to creams and lotions. I like that it has emollient properties and I like that it's a stabilizer. So there is acetyl alcohol in this. I ordered Cream Maker CAT from Making Cosmetics. This is an emulsifier that is very good for detangling and it is very conditioning. I just bought a little bag to give it a try. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I may test this with a different one. I don't purchase from Making Cosmetics very often, so I'd like to find a, something that is close to this that I can get from a supplier that I, that I order from more often, but this is like 75% satiral alcohol and 25% of that B-E-H-E-N, I'll try to put it on the screen. I'm not exactly sure how to say that, but that's like the makeup of this. And so I'm looking for a replacement. But I really do like it. My son absolutely loves this uh, beard wash. So I, I'm kind of leery about making a change, but I also wanna make good business decisions and make, make my purchasing better for me. Argan oil and coconut oil are also in here. Argan oil is great for your hair. It's great for your skin. And then I have my vitamin E and also my surfactant. So my surfactant, I made a change. It, I think it calls for a uh, dicyl glucose, glucoside. That has it had expired on me, so I can't use that. But I do have this. And I don't know how to say that. It's like almost looks exactly the same. Caprillo, capril glucoside. So I checked Marie at Humble BME. Uh, she stated on one of her blog posts that she swaps this anytime a formula would call for the dicyl glucoside. So I thought, well, that's what I'm going to do. If it's good enough for Marie, it's good enough for me. So that's in here. And so I'm going to get this heated. I'm going to keep heating on this. And then when it's ready, we will combine them. And while all of that is going, I'm going to get my cool down ingredients ready to go. I already have my DL Panthenol in my little pot here. That is vitamin B5. And that just will give uh, moisture and shine to the hair. It also will soften hair. That's a good thing to have in your hair products. I am using sea buckthorn extract, and this is going to give it emollient properties. It's a moisturizer, and it's good for sensitive and irritated skin. 
I just think it's a perfect addition to this. And I like to hydrate my Panthenol, so that's kind of what I'm doing here is I'm just hydrating it. Next, I'm adding hydrolyzed Baobab protein. This has a superior hair damage repair property, so that's awesome for a beard. It's very deeply nourishing, and it also conditions. That's why I chose Baobab protein. These little extracts are pretty powerful. They're one of the more expensive products to put in a formula. They have a, a lot of bang for your buck. I like using them, but they do kind of jack up your cost. If you're really looking to reduce your cost, you could replace this with more water if, if you can't afford some of these extracts because they can get expensive. In my last little pot here, I have my daikon seed extract and my Optifin for preservative. And I also have um, a Cedarwood Atlas and a Rosemary essential oil blend. All right, it's time to add my water to my oils. Ooh, I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it's on the cooler side of the burner here, and it is pretty warm at 158. I'm just going to stir it, and I may put a stick blender in it, and just let it cool, guys. Look at that bottle. Isn't that cute? It's an oblong four ounce bottle. I think they're adorable. I started to pour this in the bottles and then I realized it's still about 120. So I do want it to cool closer to maybe 100 degrees before I start packaging. I think I'm just getting a little tired, it's late. So I'm just gonna set this aside and keep working on my next um, bit of product here. So in my pot in here in a double boiler, I have my beard bomb going. This is a recipe I got from Keely at Soy and Shea. I am loving this recipe and just really enjoying being a patron of hers. This is her, her formula, so I'm not going to share it clearly. She has a really good line for the men's for a men's line. So I have this and her beard oil that I'm also making. I think I'm tweaking both of them just a tiny bit, but I'm gonna just keep letting this heat up before I get that packaged and get moving on the beard oil, which is a cold emulsion, so that should be super fast and super easy. I'm not even sure where I left off, guys. <laughs> it, it is almost 10 o'clock on a Thursday night, so I just really had to get these things done. The main thing I wanted to show you was my beard co-wash just because I think Keely probably has uh, videos on her beard balm and beard oil. I assume she does. Uh, so, but I wanted to show you my packaging I found. I try not to spill this, it's very full. Little glass amber oblong bottles for the beard oil. And then I have these four ounce oblong plastic bottles for the Beard Co-Wash. And all the packaging is different colors, so that kind of bothers me. But packaging's really hard to come by right now, and I'm taking what I can get. Uh, I really just thought these were really cute. I just could not find clear glass oblong bottles. And so the only bottles I could find were the amber, which I don't mind the amber. I just would have preferred them kind of matching the plastic ones a little bit closer, but it is what it is with it in this day and age, right? And then I doubled my uh, beard balm. I was only gonna, I was supposed to make 10, like 10, 10, and 10, ended up actually being nine, nine, and 21. But at last second decision, I felt like a one ounce 10 of beard balm 
was more appropriate than a two ounce beard balm. It feels like that's an awful lot of balm. So last second I used my one ounce tins. I haven't used, I've had these things forever so I was happy to get to use them. I just have a lot more than I probably need <laughs> or can sell. I'm going to get them labeled. I'm going to let them cool over here overnight with the lids off so no condensation will be happening. And I'll bring you back maybe tomorrow or the next day once they're all labeled and we'll look at that. And yeah, then I'll say goodbye to you. So I'm going to say goodnight now. Good night, guys. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> guys, it's been a few days and I am done with my beard products. So here they are. Here's the beard oil. I think it's really cute. This is a one ounce and I've been going back and forth between a one ounce and a two ounce oil. You know, I see them both. I think the jars are cute and I can keep my price point down a little bit to make people, to entice uh, men or women to gift to the men to try a beard oil. So uh, I think it's okay to do the one ounce, at least for now. Same thing with my beard balm. When I see beard balms on the websites, I went after the fact, I went and looked and everybody seems to do two ounce beard balms. <laughs> But again, I can keep my price point lower on this and maybe get get a customer base with a lower price point. And if I get a lot of repeat sales, maybe then I would offer a two ounce as well. Uh, but there's the balm and here's the co-wash. And I did black and white guys and I'm not very happy. <laughs> I am struggling with the black and white just because I, I, I like my colors. I mean, you guys have seen my labels. I like my color. So what I did is I liked the face of this beard, but I didn't like the beard of that beard. So I found another beard bottom that I liked and I combined the two. So these, this is actually two different images that I kind of put together. So the beard that goes with the sunglasses is really wild and long and curly and I didn't like that so I had to insert a black a white box behind the smaller beard to hide the beard that went with that if I'm making sense and because I added that white box I can't seem to get a background on this I wanted a wood grain background and I think I think I may have figured out how I can do that I just need to go and mess with it a little bit more but I'm not going to relabel any of these. These are just what it is. But for my next, my next go with the labels, I think I have it figured out where I can hide that black box a little bit or hide that beard underneath a little bit better. But yeah, there they are. Super happy. I got them in time to get them on my shelf for this weekend's craft show. So I am going to go take some pictures, get them on my website. <sighs> so many pictures to take. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your time. You're awesome. Guys, comment below and let me know if you carry men's products in your lines for all you soapers out there. And if so, if they're a good seller for you or if you're like me and you've not had good luck in the past. I'm really anxious to get this on my shelf and website to see. Again, my customer base is bigger and different than it was four or five years ago. I'm hoping I can keep them because I think men's products are fun. It's like, I think all products are fun though. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you hit that like button. I hope you hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye.